Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Been doing a lot of um, dailies, not a whole heck of a lot of actually checking stuff off of our post-it note here. So what characters need two things? Lazarus needs two things. A lot of other characters just need Mega Satan. Um, let's say, uh, I'm in the mood for uh, a Lilith run. We're gonna try Lilith, Darkroom, Mega Satan. Let's, let's do our best to remember. Here's our seed. Pardon me. QGPY9PP0. <laughs> um, we are also starting with Revenge Fly. I'm assuming that's because on our last unseeded run, I must have gotten Eden's Blessing. Whether that was in a video or it was on the NLSS yesterday, I don't know. But that should explain that. Onsus. That's not a bad uh, first floor rune, assuming we can actually get the bombs to make it work. Let me point out as well that I'm actually super stoked to have uh, Revenge Fly as our... Yeah, that's worth it. To have Revenge Fly as our Eden's Blessing item as uh, as Lilith. That's going to be awesome for us on rooms where we're actually able to uh, double our uh, double our familiars. I mean, it's a pretty good item as is. Orbital can do damage, but is, is more well suited for like kind of being a better version of Dead Bird. Um, but as you can see, you know, it can function in situations like that to help us out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, being able to double it definitely makes it much better as well. So I gotta remind myself, we're probably gonna get distracted. We'll be talking about, like, uh, you know, Snoop Dogg, what he actually means when he says earning her man, learning her man, but at the same time burning her man. Um, can't believe we didn't get hit there. Uh, but, uh, we shouldn't get distracted enough that we forget that we're not supposed to take our first floor devil deal. You see Brimstone, what do you do? You don't take it! That's right. You see Mom's Knife, what do you do? Tell it to fuck off! That's, you got it. I don't know why I walked directly into that. Um, it would also be dope if we could survive. I find that survival is like the dopest of all the possible timelines for us here. Um, People have told me, by the way, that I'm fighting Ragman, I wouldn't say incorrectly, but suboptimally. Like, when he rolls his head to create a spider, his head actually continues to take damage. And by killing it, you can uh, prevent a spider from spawning. So that seems like a more efficient, uh, you know, vector to attack, as opposed to actually just go into town on the his, his whole body. Which is very sensible, you know? It, it seems like it, he's it's still his head, he should still take damage from it. Synth Oil is a glorious pickup. Ansu's did nothing for us because we got no bombs. It's not Ansu's fault. Um, let me make sure this is recording properly. Yes, okay. Burning Basement 2. This is a little dangerous without any HP. There is a Tinted Rock back there. Now, we do not have a bomb, but if we can get a bomb, that might be our, uh, our ability or our... That might enable us, let's say, to make a win happen here. We also, of course, have Cambi and Conception because we're starting as Lilith, of course. Which means, oh god, I've ruined my deal with the Devil Chance. No! Um, which might mean that we can get a deal with the Angel, I don't know. That was a really bad time to take damage, especially because we just got a bomb right after it. Now, we didn't technically ruin our deal with the Devil Chance. But, you know, you know the math at this point. It's It's been lowered to something like 36% now. Um, and there's our spirit heart, of course. Now, KMB and Conception, I was talking about, uh, it does give us the ability to spawn familiars uh, when we take a certain amount of damage. So, I actually quite like it when we can get it to work. Usually I get it to work accidentally, but uh, if you can accidentally get uh, a little brimstone, it doesn't matter whether it's an accident or on purpose. It's satisfying either way. We're gonna wedge ourselves back here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, and then just get into this attack avenue here. Hello, Kates. How's it going? Busy, busy. All right. We are going to just keep walking around here, trying to find our item room, maintaining hope that we're gonna be able to get our deal with the devil, although we know mathematically it's probably the lesser of the possible outcomes for us. How have we not done Dark Room Lilith yet? Is that one of those things where I respawn myself as Dark Judas without realizing it? So I do think Marked is... Wait, Marked just doesn't work. <laughs> I was gonna say I think it's kind of a, uh, an annoying item to use sometimes, but I, I sort of dig it because it's unusual. Apparently I'm bringing Dig back as well, like it's the 1960s or a, a, alternatively I guess like 2006. Um, that was a joke about Dig, you know, the Reddit precursor. They're not affiliated with one another, but it's a content aggregator. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, I guess it just does nothing for us with Lilith. I was kind of hoping I would just be able to use it kind of like Ludovico. Try to, I could aim my familiar shots like a little bit more 
granularly, but um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not pissed that it's not working for us. It's not necessarily good or bad. It just is what it is. No tinted rock on such a large room. A little surprising. Uh, yeah, we have a lot of consumables. I think that we should take advantage of the fact that we have so many and actually open both of these. And it would be awesome to get a guppy's head, even if we don't want to actually keep it. To just get it would be good. Okay, so we basically traded two bombs for a cent there. We got Bob's brain. Not two bombs for a cent. Two bombs for two cents, but still. Not great. We got another stone chest here, which paid out with a little chest, which paid out with watch battery, which I don't really know what it does. By the way, I'm stoked to have Bob's brain. Uh, Bob's brain box of friends, as long as we use it effectively like we did right there, is awesome. Yes, we're probably more likely to hit ourselves with it than we would be if we didn't pick it up. By default. Oh my god, we still got the deal with the devil. But we don't want to take it, even though some of those items would be dope. Both of them would be dope. But uh, we don't want to take it. Instead, we'll just leave. I'll take experimental treatment. Let's get let's get weird, mama. No HP up. I think we got a damage up, or at least not a damage down. Caves 1, Bob's brain. We are slower. I don't know why that sounded like it was to the Jurassic Park theme song. Caves 1, Bob's brain. Anyway, Jurassic Park. Um, stay back. Watch battery. I mean, I hope it gives us the ability to use Box of Friends more frequently. And if it does, I would be excited. But because it may not, I'm not going to get too excited. Although, wait a minute. Did we just get two charges from one room there? Hold up. I gotta, like, reacquaint myself with how you play on a run that's not the daily. Because we have this judgment, and I'm like, hell yeah, we're going in on the judgment. I would love to get some HP here. Next step for us is obviously uh, saving a bomb, if we can, for a deal with the angel. I mean, Bob's brain won't do it, unfortunately. So, yeah, we, this bomb is not going to be used. If we can get a deal with the angel, beautiful. Thank you for the HP. I appreciate that. You smart, you loyal, and all that. But, um... If we can uh, get that, like, key started, that would be a load off my shoulders, mentally speaking. I could just continue to play my game, which is going alright right now. Hopefully we don't come across any full run rerolls that have a chance to squander it, but... Uh, we, uh, we also need to make sure that we take the negative. I'm very guilty of that sometimes. I've been a little bit better about it lately, but I don't want to let that put me in a false sense of security. We are gonna do our damnedest. Hey, that's pretty good. At least pretty okay. We're gonna do our damnedest to make sure that we uh, don't fuck it up on this one. Oh, Bob's brain missed. There we go. That one should work. Still a little tricky to, to make it work here. Ooh, we got the bomb. <laughs> it was a little close. Had to get it before it got on the spikes. We'll use one of our bombs now to go into our secret room where we'll get one bomb. Uh, that obviously doesn't feel like the most efficient use of our bomb, but then we use the bomb that we got here turn it directly into a nickel, which is actually sweet. So now we uh, have the ability to buy something from our shop, despite also playing the shit out of a judgment on this floor. So this this is pretty good. Now, as far as deal with the angel items go, I really hope we get, like, Guardian Angel. I mean, the obvious ones like Godhead are great as well, but, like, Guardian Angel, Seraphim. Um, the ability to fly would be nice, but it doesn't really synergize with Box of Friends, which is kind of the theme that I was going for. I don't really want, like, you know, Brother Bobby or anything like that, but now that I think about it, can Brother Bobby show up on a deal with the Angel? I can't remember. Ooh, Free Spirit Heart. This hasn't really been, like, an over-the-top, super powerful run yet, so... Uh, I'm, I'm pleased with the fact that our, our damage is still pretty okay here. Like, our damage is good. We haven't taken too much stupid damage outside of the first floor, where we, of course, almost died, but... If you ignore that, it's been alright. That was probably the best dodge I've ever made. Most of the time, I would have definitely just taken that damage on the chin. Oh! And then, aggro flies saved the shit out of us there. Okay, we were flying a little too close to the sun, though. Let's relax a little bit. Okay. Jar of flies. I mean, it's weird. I think we take hive mind. If we could afford jar of flies, it's very tempting. But I really don't love the idea of getting rid of Bob's brain. Or not Bob's brain. Um... Box of Friends. Everything starts with a B in this freaking game now. Box of Friends. Box of Spiders. Mom's Box. I'm kind of cherry-picking examples you might have noticed, but that's okay. Okay, Stain. 
It's your next, uh, the homework for a Binding of Isaac mod is, uh, replace the texture for the Stain with the lead singer of Stain, the new rock band from the, or sorry, new metal band from the, uh, early 2000s. It's not going to be a very accessible mod. It's not going to be well liked, but um, you and I will know the joke. Am I? Will I use it if you make it? No. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want my runs to be like an asterisk. They'll be like, oh yeah, sure. NL did pretty well in his daily, but he was using the stained mod, so we don't know. Maybe that has some unforeseen side effects. But you know, it'll be a nice in joke. You know, Nick would love it. Nick would be super into it. That's right up his alley. They just need an item. Um, oh, you know what? Replace the wafer with uh, a backwards hat. It's like a limp biscuit, you know? Ugh. Blood rights. I would love a speed upgrade. Um, a speed upgrade would be sweet. Oh, what is this? Kate sent me something here. Whoa! The wrap yearbook. Somebody sent me like a, a Christmas present in a P.O. box. That was very nice. Thank you, John. That's all I can see from the tweet, but uh, I guess we'll address that in a vlog later. That's pretty sweet. Maybe that's what I get for complaining about not understanding what uh, Snoop Dogg says when he uh, says learning a man and earning a man at the same time burning a man. Um, next floor. Boss Rush? Not that relevant. Gotta untrain myself. We don't really need Boss Rush here. It'd be nice if we could. But unlike uh, daily runs, it's not the be all end all. I really, you know what? We should be using Box of Friends more often. I'll commit to using Box of Friends on the next floor. I, in particular, I'm saying that right now because we have Watch Battery, and using Box of Friends, assuming that Watch Battery has something to do with charge, will allow me to more, you know, readily observe what, uh, did I say observe? But anyway, observe what's going on here. This was a double room, so it of course gave us a double charge. I say of course, even though I forget that all the time. Hmm. I want to see if maybe Watch Battery gives us two charges per room no matter what, or maybe it has like a 50% chance to give us an extra charge. We did get two charges from this room, and this room was not a big room. I don't know, man. I feel or Maybe it gives us a random battery effect from room to room? I don't know. I'm just, I'm spitballing ideas at this point. All right, what would I love to see? I would love to see any variety of a speed upgrade. I would value a speed upgrade more than a shitty familiar at this point. Like, if you're going to give me Bob's uh, brother Bobby, another item that starts with a B, or uh, or the, the spoon, wooden spoon, I'll take wooden spoon at this point. Even though it doesn't quite fit with the, the Lilith theme. I'm really super vindicated in this double Bob's brain pickup. I think Bob's brain, at least from my perspective, the uh, the jury is kind of coming around on it. It's still an item that people are like, oh, Bob's brain. You know, I'll take the crab juice. But I feel like uh, people are kind of coming around to the idea of using it tactically, and that's not because of me. Uh, we're not gonna do that. It's not like I'm the I'm the linchpin for, for that or anything. But I'm happy to be kind of a part of the movement because yeah, there were there were times when I was like, Bob's kidney stone could be okay. There were times where I was like, Bob's brain is real shitty, and then. Um, I mean, there's been runs that it's it's completely lost for me because of my own stupid play while using it. But uh, there's also been runs where it's it's made my life a lot easier. And right now, this is is certainly one of those runs. Can these stone come with like a small damage upgrade or something like that? I know it it turned our tears red, which doesn't necessarily mean that it makes them do more damage. But usually, that there there is a correlation, if not a causation or causal relationship between those. Another battery charge, so we might as well pop this right here. Oh, there's our kidney stone. Man, our rate of fire is amazing when the kidney stone pops. That is sweet. Especially if we have a box of friends active on that room. I am excited for the possibility to just tear through bosses uh, without much risk to ourselves whatsoever. Bob's brain exploded on something. I must have shot it uh, accidentally. I thought it was still on its way back. Okay, deal with the angel. We have a bomb. I'm very glad that I didn't squander that. And we're good, okay. We have two bombs, actually. This would be a great time for a deal with the angel. I didn't, this is where you start questioning yourself. I didn't accidentally take a deal with the devil at some point, did I? I don't believe so. 
Torn Photo is great. I kind of, well, Celtic Cross is fine too. I kind of wish I didn't use a Box of Friends for a boss, but that's the thing is, you know, unless you have Goathead, you don't know if an Angel statue is actually going to show up. You could just be, uh, you know, saving your Box of Friends charge for nothing at all. Torn Photo is an awesome pickup. I'm super stoked to have it. Oh, I... Even though I know we would have taken damage from the Beam of Light if we'd gotten in there with a, a line of sight shot with Kidney Stone, I was excited because we could have done so much damage. But anyway, there is our key piece. Beautiful. Down to the next floor. Still on pace for Boss Rush. Could be doable. This run's it's going somewhere. We're not quite out of control, but... Uh, well, the only thing out of control about this one right now is how our speed is so low, but... We'll be able to sort that out one day. See, that's a dodge I really feel like should have been pretty plausible, but that's okay. Tough it out. Uh, this is a weird room, but I'm thrilled to have it. Basically, like a free Mongo Baby pickup, and Mongo Baby a good item, and also the best character, or at least the best spacebar item, uh, to get the best possible use out of Mongo Baby as well. Not to insult Brother Bobby again, but way better than just getting another Brother Bobby. Yo, and now why you hate Brother Bobby so much? I really didn't think that I'd run Bob's brain into an enemy there, or shot it into an enemy. It did overlap with an enemy, but I don't think I shot it. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, I, I do want to access those chests, but I, I can't afford to spend a bomb to do so, because we may need that bomb for the Angel Statue. Now that we know we don't need this bomb for the Angel Statue because we have another bomb, we might as well come over here and do this one. And we'll do this because we have... Um, we, we could use a penny more than we could use the full red heart, because we can't use a full red heart at all. And we blew it up properly so we can actually get to our other one as well. We get uh, Mom's Locket. I don't really know what this does. Oh, Kidney Stone. Kidney Stone killed nothing. This doesn't seem right. No battery charge. Hmm, two bombs. We could look for a teleportation card to get a free item out of Boss Rush. More than that, I'd just really like to get, like, 9 volt from our shop. We don't have the money for that yet, but perhaps one day. Cursed Eye? I don't know how... I. It's weird, but I think Cursed Eye does nothing with Lilith. Like, we don't, we don't have a risk of teleporting. And I think it also gives us a big benefit with, um... Oh, at least we know our shop is not going to have greed in it. And we're going to have the money maybe to buy something, but, um... I believe, don't quote me on this, but I believe that Cursed Eye and Kidney Stone actually synergize well to give an even higher rate of fire than normal. But, admittedly, I've only had them once. I can't remember if I was playing Lilith, which may have uh, some kind of impact that I didn't expect. I don't know. I mean, it feels like our rate of fire is really good. That might just be an optical illusion based on um, Box of Friends here. Go to our shop. Chaos. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> I want the spirit art as well. The moon? Oh, it's a teleport card. And 48 hour energy. I'm going to stick with watch battery for now, but uh, that teleport card is free boss rush access. This is fucked. <laughs> I really don't want the bean, man. But I could use my bomb to reroll it, but then I don't have my bomb available for the angel statue. Let's remind ourselves of something on this floor. We are going to the dark room. So, just be smart about that. Don't pick up the Polaroid as soon as it drops. Where did, oh, Bob's brain must have exploded on the last room. I was like, wait a minute, we're missing a familiar. Do a head count. Buddy systems never failed me. Because we have the moon card, we don't need to backtrack right away in order to sort out our... Uh, our item room, we can just come back after we pop the moon card. We know where our secret room is anyway. Very close to our boss room. Mm, I hate this. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks real bad. Might have just cost ourselves a chance at that deal with the angel. At least we didn't die. Uh, this did remind me of the fact that we are only two hits away from death on the womb. By basically default, if you look at our HP. That's pretty messed up, I think. Because we haven't traded away any HP on this entire run. This has just been kind of like a, a, a run that's pretty easy to squander, defensively speaking. Um, wait a minute, this isn't ours. We're definitely not doing boss rush. Okay, I thought we were a floor ahead of where we actually are. Disregard this. That being said, moon card, it still does something for us. Um, 
You know what? In a way, that's kind of a load off my shoulders because it means we have one extra floor here to get HP. We might be able to... Oh, be careful. No, we definitely won't get a deal with the Angel now, but... Well, I guess we can get anything from our from our boss here. And actually, Butt Bombs is okay. Butt Bombs is okay for us because... Uh, we, first off, get five bombs. Secondly, it synergizes with Bob's brain. Nah, that's not good enough. And we can maybe turn that into something here. Okay, I don't really know how uh, that works for us here. So I will take Contract from below instead. Double the consumable drops. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you, though. I think we're kind of in a, a bit of a messed up position here. We've gotten some pretty good items for Lilith, but we don't have any HP. So starting on the womb, it's going to be pretty tough for us to survive. Let's head down. Um, that's probably our second secret room. Okay, it's the it's the wet poop. I don't know if that's really... There's got to be more to that room, right? That's not just a second secret room that's shitty. There's already shitty second secret rooms. The ones full of red hearts, usually. Um, well, I'm digging the rate of fire we get with uh, Kidney Stone, but... I'm still quite frightened that this run sort of doesn't have the uh, the upper ceiling that I would hope that it would. Spirit Heart here would be really helpful. Whoa, we got one. That was very unexpected, actually. So this floor would be really nice to finish off our key pieces and just focus on, like, survival. The, the Oh my god, our Spirit Heart is gone already. But the, the shitty thing about Chaos... And there's a lot to like about Chaos, mainly that it makes runs, you know, unusual. But the the shitty thing... Oh my god. Just go, man. Thank you, Celtic Cross. The shitty thing about Chaos is that it means that we could have deals with the devil that basically amount to, like... You know, pay one heart for one heart. And then you get deal with the devil precedent, but... You know, we end up with, like, de uh, devil deals. Ooh, that, I don't know if we should have used it right there, but that's okay. We end up with devil deals that just have, like, HP upgrades on them. We could also end up with devil deals that have, you know, amazing items on them, but we could end up with devil deals that are 1 HP for, like, super bandage, which is obviously a great pickup for us, but um, I'm, I'm kind of skeptical, you know? Uh, let's use one bomb and see what we get. Okay, two cents. Not what I was hoping for, of course. And we gotta take the eternal heart for survival's sake. Uh, and let's take this death card. I think it's okay. I think it's okay for us, to be honest with you. Man, this is not good. <laughs> this Lilith run is, is falling apart here. I've given it, like, I've given it my honest all. But uh, I just don't know if we have it in us here. We've got to try to get to our item room because it could have anything. Deal with the devil items or, uh, you know, deal with the angel items or, you know, mom's knife. Just normal items that we could find in our, uh, in our uh, item rooms. But uh, we have to live long enough to get there. This is like my ideal boss fight right now. Like, this guy is going to get confused and killed, and it is not a problem whatsoever. Sweet. At this point, what are, what are my outs? How do I win this run? Well, um, surviving this floor is, is a big deal, as is surviving every floor. But in particular, this floor might be kind of like the, um, the filter for the entire run. Ah, oh, shit. They're too fast. This floor might be the filter. If we can get past this one, we can get to, uh, you know, good items. Maybe there's a good item in here. That's not good enough, but it's still, it's like, you know, it's not good enough long term, but it's good enough for our short term survival. It's like if you really need, you know, work boots, you'd buy like $10 work boots today. But you might be better off buying like a $100 pair of work boots that's going to last you for like two years or something like that. We're... We're robbing tomorrow to pay today, but if we live through the mom fight, that's all that matters here, I suppose. Now keep your bomb. Try to use Bob's brain right away. Oh, kidney stone. Huge, huge results for me there. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Gotten very lucky, temporarily. That's what I was concerned about. We do have Celtic Cross now. We may get a deal with the angel here. We got to deal with the devil. That's really unfortunate. So we take the negative because we want to go to the dark room. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm skeptical that we're going to accomplish any of our express goals on this run. But we're going to give it the 
goddamnest try we can. Okay, death card could clear a room for us. Yeah, that's ideal. Those guys were popped up. And ready to mingle. It's not how that expression goes. We still got our one bomb remaining. The all-valuable uh, bomb that is going to make all the difference when it comes to getting our key pieces complete here. If we can't com complete our key pieces, we're fucked. We are just we're out of luck, man. And we'll have to make a decision, I guess, probably on, um, wow, it'll be tough, though. Because I was like, I guess if we get to the womb 2 and our deal is not a deal with the angel and we don't have our key pieces completed, we'd probably just, like, take the deal with the devil if it's good enough to take. But I don't know. Maybe we could get a joker card later and, and swing it or something like that. Oh, okay. This is important. Don't get hit unless it's absolutely unavoidable. Because we have our boss fight right away, and we actually have uh, the chance. Wait a minute, where's our key piece? No, I see. We have it. Okay, I freaked myself out there for a second. I was looking at, like, the familiars following me around, and I'm like, there's no key piece. No, we, we have a key piece. Just scared for a second there. Box of Friends was awesome for us. Guppy's Paw is a great item, but it's, it's really not what we need right now. But it gives us the ability to get ourselves to a... Uh, place where we can probably get a deal with the devil on this floor or a deal with the angel of course is what I'm looking for but um, a place where we can probably get a deal because now we have spirit heart protection so that floor was fast and we got kind of like an inverse converter there inverted converter locked down I mean I don't, I don't, picky eye doesn't seem that valuable for us we already have a tear effect in the form of the Bob's brain like um, butt bombs so I don't really want to compromise that just to take poison, which doesn't seem that valuable. Um, this is the moment of truth for us, though. If we don't get a... Um... Oh my god, he's too fast! The tractor beam! This enemy will not die! Uh, oh, thank god we got poison touch out of it. Well worth the, you know, eight spirit arts we spent. Um, okay, let's get rid of watch battery to take bloody penny. May save our lives. Oh, we got Spun as well, which is a plus three damage upgrade. So, I guess I really, at this point, have to train myself. Oh, might have ruined our deal with the Devil Chance. Uh, I have to train myself. Maybe we didn't ruin our deal with the Devil Chance. Not to be pissed off when we get uh, a Syringe, even if it's not like Growth Hormones, um, or Roid Rage, or Synth Oil. We're, we're still going to be stoked because it's part of the Spun transformation, which is a huge damage upgrade. So, um, I guess I'm very pleased that we fought uh, the enemy that we ended up fighting there. Two sacks. Several battery charges. That's pretty sweet. Um, we're not going to fight Hush. I think we have kind of an okay Hush run, except for the fact that our HP is bad. But Rate of Fire is pretty solid. I know that probably the optimal way to handle this, by the way. Ooh, let's see what... Ooh, that's not so good. But uh, the optimal way to handle this is uh, probably just to use Box of Friends on every available room and then go back at the battery charges. You know, rinse and repeat. But... Uh, I'm not going to do that. Because I'm lazy. And my laziness is going to manifest itself in just doing these rooms without using Box of Friends. Because I really want it to be ready for Mom's heart. You've seen how quickly uh, a good Box of Friends charge can can clear out a boss fight. Like, uh, the Mom fight was basically no problem as a result of it. Mom's heart might be similar, but at the same time, we're fighting harder enemies. And I'm really starting to think that our low speed is going to come make a bite us in the ass. Kidney Stone's doing work. Double Mongo Baby helping out. I didn't know you were still alive. I hope this is the right way to go to get to the boss fight, but... Perpetually a little skeptical. No enemies on the other side? The same enemies on the other side. That was the logical outcome I was expecting, but... Oh, man. It's crazy, like, the, I'm recording this run right after the uh, Lilith Daily, which was for December 1st, 2015, in case you're watching this video in the far-flung future of the unfathomable 2015 or, or 2016 or 2017. Whoa, what's the future like? But, um, that's alright, we don't need that. Um, that Lilith Daily was amazing. It was so amazing. Oh, God, just run. 
It was so amazing that even after I re-rolled from Brimstone and was like, well, we're never gonna get anything that's as good as that, we got some stuff that was nearly as good as that. Still beat Hush, beat Boss Rush without any problems whatsoever. This run is like the total opposite. <laughs> we did get a deal with the Angel, holy shit, okay. Not Godhead, but one free HP is not bad. Ooh, so you're saying there's a chance. This is one where I've definitely, like, again, not to toot my own horn too much, but uh, we've had to play very, very well just to stay in the running for this one. And you know what's been, like, an unbelievably good pickup for us? Bob's brain, dog. Bob's brain has kind of carried us. We're going down. Don't make that mistake. Not at this point. I, as of right now, I think I can at least be proud of this run. Surely, um... You know, I haven't accomplished any of our objectives yet. But just getting to the point where we're still in a position to possibly accomplish some of our objectives is a positive thing, I think. And I hope you see it the same way as well. This, you know, feel free to play the seed yourself. This isn't me throwing down the gauntlet and being like, Whoa, this seed is so fucking hard, dog. I don't think anybody else would be able to do it. But it's not an easy one. It's more like, you know, put yourself in my shoes. Like, literally, well, not literally in my shoes, but put yourself in the run right now. And, and try it out if you think it's, uh, if you think it's so easy. It's not. Oh, come on. Just land! <laughs> land the Bob's brain shot. Saves me so much hassle. Oh, four bombs. That's pretty good. Um, Bob's brain shot is like a real room clearer. You know what would be awesome if we could get it? Toxic shock. Like, one toxic shock, uh, usage. Plus, uh, Toxic Shock, of course, in case you've forgotten, because it's a new item, is the uh, Mass Poison. That plus one Bob's Brain hit is probably like a full room clear on most rooms. Can't believe I'm uh, on the verge of death again. Yep, we're one hit away from death. Now, the good news is we only need a penny to drop to save us uh, from ourselves here. Ooh, I dodged up and then I knocked him into me. That was still, like I said... I'm proud of that run, but man, disappointing end. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal and uh, helps remind me that I have to still do everything as Lilith, I guess. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.